everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this Kim Kardashian West inspired makeup. As you probably know from my Instagram, I not too long ago I was in New York at the makeup class that Mario and Kim Kardashian had. It was a great time. I'm so glad that I went there and that I'm back now to share you to share with you all the tips and tricks uh, that Mario and Kim gave us. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and don't forget to click on that little ring bell button. This way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. So if you want to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to get straight into the makeup because usually when I'm watching this kind of uh, tutorials I skip all the talk <laughs> at the beginning because I just want to see the look of course I will give you some of the tips and tricks that Mario gave at the master class so don't worry about that first he started by moisturizing the face using just a sponge and a moisturizer from Kiehl's I've already prepped my skin with my daily moisturizer, which is the um, the cream from Biologique Recherche. And then he filled in the brows using the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what was really curious for me is the color that he used. I would not expect him to use soft brown because soft brown has a um, a very light brownish color and I would expect uh, him to use more like a medium brown because it has a grayish undertone but I like the result so you know what I'm going to try using uh, the soft brown on myself now get me closer okay I think that's good so I'm just going to lightly Fill in my brows. I gotta tell you guys, it took forever for him to do <laughs> her makeup. Um, I actually asked a question and I'm so sorry that I haven't taped that. That would have been a good memory. I was asking him, how long does it take you to really do her makeup? And he said, actually, actually Kim answered, the question and she said well it usually takes about three hours for makeup and hair but you know the hair process is not too long so I suppose that most of the time is used for the makeup so I'm doing light strokes especially here at the beginning of the eyebrows and as I'm filling them in I'm using the spoolie at the other end of this pencil just to brush it through to give it that natural look I gotta tell you guys Kim is like perfect I don't know if she was born <laughs> I don't care if she was born with it or not she looked just flawless I'm done with my eyebrows I'm going to use this concealer from Tarte it's the shape tape concealer in the color light sand and I'm going to use a MAC 248 brush it's a flat brush and I'm going to apply around my eyebrows giving them a very clean look I think for this step Mario used the secret camouflage from Laura Mercier and then I'm going to do something that I usually never do I'm giving them a hug with the concealer so this way they're very sharp and clean so after I've applied the concealer with a flat brush I'm going to take this blending brush from Sephora 57 and I'm just gonna blend the edges So now that I'm done with the eyebrows, I'm going to apply concealer as a base for my eyeshadow all over my eyelids. I'm using the same concealer, Light Sand from uh, Tarte Cosmetics. So first I apply with this flat brush from MAC and then 
I just blend it with a Sephora brush, making sure it's really, really nice and blended. Now I'm going to set the concealer that I've applied on my eyelids with Laura Mercier Translucent Glue Setting Powder using a 217 brush from MAC. Now I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow from Tom Ford. It looks like this. It's more like a mousse. Come on, focus. I apply it all over my mobile eyelid. With a flat brush, I'm going to mix Vermeer and Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. There are these two colors in here, this one and this one. And I'm going to apply it on my bra bone. So I want you to know that Mario used a lot of eyeshadows. He mixed so many. He used the palette that he did in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. He did uh, used some of the eyeshadows from the modern renaissance, but mostly he used uh, matte eyeshadows from a palette that he had from, I think it's called Viseart, and they had mostly matte and neutral eyeshadows. So now I'm going to mix from a master palette by Mario, Lula, Isabel, and Violeta. I'm going to use a 221 brush from MAC and I will apply them into the crease mostly. Then I will take a blending brush, a 217 uh, brush from MAC, and I will blend this even more because the 2 to 1 is more like a focus blending brush but the 217 is bigger, fluffier. I will take just a tiny little bit of uh, Violetta, Violetta eyeshadow and I'm just going to place it at the outer corner with my 221 brush. Then I will just blend it with the 217. At the base of the eyelashes, Mario used a really dark brown matte pencil. But I don't have anything like that for now, so I'm going to use this eyeshadow in here this one, it's from Cosette, and the color is Burnished. And I'm going to apply it with a wet A1 brush. I'll show you what I usually do to have a really rich color. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a setting spray. I'm using this one from Urban Decay. And I'm going to spray just once in the cap. I'll dip my brush in there. Let me get the eyeshadow. And then I just do like this. And this brush is really helpful. And now look, you see? Right at the base. And then I will take a pencil brush and I'm going to blend this. I don't want to have it as an eyeliner. I want to smoke out this, this line. So guys, I gotta tell you, Mario used four different eyeliners on Kim. He used um, a coal from Urban Decay and then he used an eyeliner from MAC, all black, okay? He used something from MAC, he used a black from Kylie Cosmetics, and even though it was, it seemed like a lot, everything looked very, very good. So now I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil. 
this is waterproof it's black and I'm going to apply it right on my upper waterline and between my eyelashes with a 207 brush from MAC I'm going to use the Inglot gel liner 77 and I'm going to apply it at the base of my upper lashes I'm going to slightly smoke out this line. I don't want to cover the dark brown that I've used, so I keep it really low, like this. Now on the center of my eyelids, I'm going to use this color called Amber from Cosette with a flat brush. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean my under eye area just in case I have any fallout in there. So Mario used a foundation from Laura Mercier but I don't have that and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation. In the last four weeks that's all I've been using. If you're looking on my Instagram, all my pictures um, have this in the description. I love this one. I've just discovered it uh, recently. I, I love the coverage. I love the fact that it stays on for a long time. And I really like the color range. I'm using 228 now because I do have a self tan on. I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender. I mean, look at this. The coverage is just beautiful. You know, the drill with foundation, get it in the hairline. Now this is where I, I don't like to do my eyebrows first because I'm using a much darker foundation and now it's a pain in the ass to blend it around. As for a concealer, Mario used the Radiant Creamy Concealer from Nars, but I'm going to use the Soft Matte Concealer from Nars. This is in the color Custard. And I'm going to first apply it with a flat brush. Then I'm going to take a beauty blender. Make sure the product is really nice spread. I'm going to use the same concealer on um, my chin. So Mario contoured Kim's face with her contour sticks and since I got them in the gift uh, bag I thought you know why not use them in this video they look like this and this is I think this is the medium so I'm just gonna use it as a bronzer not necessarily as a contour you know this comes with the brush but I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not going to use this one, not in this video. This is actually not bad. This is my very first time using this. It's a little orange, I have to admit. It's more like a bronzer than uh, a contour it's very easy to make your makeup look muddy with cream contour but i like this one yes it might not have a really strong color payoff what she said that this is supposed to be used by you know everybody so with the other side i'm gonna use this on my nose I mean, what the hell, why not? I'm just gonna take a blending brush from MAC. I just don't like the color for the nose. I wish it was a little bit more gray. I'm making sure there is no creasing going on under my eyes. And I'm going to set my under eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder.
um, I'm sorry, I forgot to film this. <laughs> so I have used on my lower uh, lash line, I've used this Omega Bronze from Marc Jacobs. It's a bronzing powder. Mario didn't use this. He used like a really dark, actually he used a black pencil, but I don't, I don't really look good with a black uh, pencil on the waterline. So I've changed a little bit. And I'm just adding this. Then I'm going to blend it with a 217 brush from MAC. Next step is highlighter and Mario used the highlighter from uh, KK Beauty, KKW Beauty, but I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the color beige and I'm going to apply it with an A23 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I like to apply, you see where it already shines? Right here. I like to highlight even more, like here. I'm going to use it on the bridge of my nose and also the tip of my nose. If you do have a long nose, don't use the highlighter on the tip of your nose because it's just gonna make it look longer. Take the same combination that I used on my bra bone, the Vermeer and Primavera, and I'm going to apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Of course, I'm going to add mascara on my lower lashes. I mean, Kim Kardashian is very famous for that. And by the way, she's got beautiful, long, natural eyelashes. You know what? I'm going to mix these two. One, so this one is from MAC, this is Melba, and the other one is from Ofra in the color Apricot. I'll take a Hakuhodo B110 brush and I'll just apply this on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I love to have my blush hugging the cheeks. Now I'm going to use a bronzer and I really like the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Looks like this. J5521 brush from Hakuhodo. Okay, so I'm just going to contour my lips first with powder. If you want to see this whole process about how to make your lips look bigger, I have a video for you and it's actually pretty uh, helpful and the changes are like spectacular. I will put a link in here. I'm just going to use powder first. So Mario did not use this at all. It's just something that I want to use to get my lips a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to use uh, this lip pencil from MAC. This is in the color Spice. Everybody's question was what is the perfect nude lipstick that you, Mario, are, are using um, on Kim? And he couldn't answer because he was, uh, honestly, while he was doing makeup, while he was putting lipstick on her, he mixed like six shades. Makeup artists can be like that because they know exactly what they want to have so they are mixing everything together. I'm going to use for the first time the Smashbox Lipstick in Demand. The name of the color. I 
I'm going to add this a Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte? Charlotte? Somebody else. Help me. I'm going to add this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Kim K West. Then she would always use uh, a lip gloss on top. Ugh. This is this is light. This is really light for me. But instead of lip gloss, so this is the Tom Ford, and this is in the color Abandon. Looks like this. This is the creamiest lipstick I've used in my life. It's just amazing. So Mario used uh, these lashes from Baddington. And then he added individuals. Um, I'm not sure I want to put these on right now. I feel like they're just... The band is just too big. Like, can you look? I feel like they are very, very natural looking eyelashes, but the band that's holding them is just too bulky. And it would just ruin um, my makeup. So I, I would rather just add indivi individuals. And I'm gonna use these ones from Erdell. Now, um, this is a real process, so. I got the magnifying mirror and I've got my glasses as well. Like this is the real deal. Then I'm going to use this Atacha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I would advise you not to use this if you have a really oily skin. Okay guys, so this is the final look uh, for the Kim Kardashian West inspired makeup tutorial. I honestly had a great time at the masterclass with Mario and Kim and I'm glad that I could share all these tips and tricks with you. Like this video if you really enjoy watching it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and click on that little ring bell button this will this way you will be notified every time i'm posting a new video you want to come around with me in paris then follow me on instagram snapchat and facebook thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye That's me. Oh, it's me. No, no. Iti, taka vam buti la shama wai dai. Mmm, fun. Na kuna spot? Da posti no reiki. Dat poți așa? Poți așa? Dat poți așa? So how about you give me that mirror in there? Next to the glass of Coca-Cola. Coca That's not... <laughs> Misunderstand things in here. <laughs>